Hi guys, Max from Metro. Just thought I'd like to show you something that the guys at Hong Kong Models kindly sent us. This is a pre-production shot of the new 48 scale B25J from uh, Hong Kong Models. So let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a look. This is so new as a test shot. This is literally as a, as a pre-production test shot. I don't have instructions and I had to print them out. I don't have decals yet, but I've got most of everything else in here. So let's have a look at it. Uh, just a bit of a story in the background. This um, is the first J model done in 48 scale since um, Monogram did theirs back in 1977. So we've been crying out for a new tool, new all new tool, uh, B25J. This is going to come out in different versions, uh, as you'll see, because there's uh, different nose changes and things like that. They've got plans for other variants, but I'm glad they've done this one mostly because the RAAF also flew this version. Uh, so let's have a look what's in the box. So it's a good sized box. Just a quick rundown. That's a bit of a choice of the markings and that that are gonna be in this kit once they become available. Um, that's also a bit of a look-see at some of the detail that's in it, things like that. This is essentially their um, 30 second scale kit reduced, but with a few minor changes so that there's less uh, complicated parts and things like that. As I said to you, I just had a chance to photocopy or print out the instruction sheet, but as you can see, this is basically the instruction sheet for it. Good little layout, lots and lots of detail. There's all sorts of little notes through this too, talking about you've got to put the uh, uh, front undercarriages in and things like that as you're building it. You can't leave it out. Now, for those that think, oh, we've already got a Mitchell, no. This is a J model. The Academy Revell Accurate Miniatures one was a D model. When you sit the two side by side, you can see the major differences between the two. A J is the one that was the most uh, built one, and most operated one, and was the one that was flown for many, many years after World War II. So uh, that just gives you a look-see. Lots and lots of interesting um, details to go through. So you can have the undercarriages up and down and all sorts of things. Uh, that's your parts layout. That's, that's the decals that are going to come with it. Um, there's a possibility we may get a, an Australian markings done, but we're currently working on that. And there's your picture layout. So that's the instructions. So let's have an actual look at the kit. In the box, we get two fuselage halves. Now the details on these is really, really nice. So there's the detail, the panel lines, everything on this is really, really nice. You might be surprised to note that there's no uh, armor on here. It is included in the kit as separate parts. It comes as either a plastic part or an etched metal part, which I'll find out and show for you. As I said, there's the reason why we can, we're expecting other versions. Normal, the wing clip style that they're using, just really nice detail inside, lots and lots of uh, panels and ribbing and, and all sorts of things. So the, the dedicated modeler, if he wants to go detailing it, can, it's already basically in there. This is all your engines, things like that, wheels, props. Uh, the engines look really, really nice. There's quite a lot of detail in the wheel, uh, wheel uh, sections and everything else, all these little bits and pieces. There's all sorts of nice structures in this, so that's gonna be quite good. Okay, so here we go. This is uh, this is all the uh, clear parts. There's two choices of canopies because they give you both versions with the different framing on the on the front of them and everything else. That's the gas extractor. They've done it in clear for some reason, but by the time you paint it, we won't know the difference. Uh, turrets, uh, two choices of nose turrets because you've got the one with just the base guns or you've got the one that had the extra guns put into it. So really, really nice and clear. Really, really well done. So that's that's lovely. So this is your bomb, your bomb racks, things like that. Okay, this is your wings. This is wing sprue. This is um, one of the sides, whatever. So you've got flaps, you've got uh, the, the, the cells and everything else. Again, all beautifully riveted and panel lined. So, um, yeah, really nice. They've done the um, fabric covered uh, ailerons and everything else, which are not separate They're, and molded in. Um, they don't look too bad. I think with a coat of paint and everything else, it'll come up just nicely. So just, just really well done. Okay, so this is the other wing sprue. Now, a little hint for the future, maybe. There's a top turret cover. So they may be looking at doing uh, post-war ones as well, or ones that weren't fitted with the turrets, or the training ones, or all sorts of things. So that's quite neat. That's a little hint for the future. 
Okay, so this is for the front end. As you can see, the detail is really, really nice. So that's all the bits, bits for the for the uh, front turret and everything else. Canopy will go over the top, of course. There's all sorts of guns and and everything else in there. So that's really well done. And the last of the two sprues. This is the tailplane. So you can see all the fins and rudders and the main plane. It's got the right part for the t the rear turret. Uh, this is all part of the interiors. Uh, various gear doors, things like that, all nicely structured so that it's not going to bend and fold and warp and all the rest of it. So really well done. Detail on the doors there. So that's very nice. This is the Bombay. So that even the detail in the Bombay is just really well done. This is all the cockpit. Uh, that's the floor part of the floor. Uh, various bulkheads, undercarriages, uh, wheels, uh, wheel covers. But no, that's the turret. Sorry. Uh, that's part of the turret, more gun tur gun bits and pieces, wheel, uh, interim panel, nicely done. So that's, um, so that's very, very nice. So that will go very, very well. Now, what else might we have in here? Well, have a look at this. They've thought of everything. Because fitting, fitting uh, nose weight to the B25J is very difficult. But, have a look at that. That's the nose weight. It's moulded to shape into the front cockpit area or front uh, tar uh, front uh, front area and it all just slots in it's all got little it's all designed exactly to fit and there's a lot of weight in there it says 61 grams so i'd reckon that they've molded exactly how much you need and the beauty of it is it just drops in you don't have to worry about weight so that's pretty cool what else have we got oh a bit of etched metal so this is uh this is seat belts and part of the frame and remember I was talking to you about the side panels for the armour on the, near the cockpit there, if I can get this up. That's the etched metal. So you can do an etched metal version of it, and there's a plastic version of it. So it depends on if you want a thinner one or you, you're happy with the plastic and don't want to work in the metal. There's that. And last but not least, you get a very nice print of the model, of the aeroplane. So there you go.